Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I was gonna say a tutorial, but today we're actually not doing a tutorial. We're kind of doing like a little bit of like a uh, mini masterclass. And today I'm sharing with you guys how to create your own editing style, or at least how to make your stuff look a little bit more branded for your Instagram reels, TikToks, YouTube shorts, etc., or even for your long form editing. This is mainly gonna apply to my short form content, but the principles are pretty much universal. What I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is exactly the same process that I did to go ahead and create my grunge sort of aesthetic over on Instagram. So I figured, hey, if I did this for my own branding, then I genuinely believe other people would benefit from this video because everyone wants to be unique and not everyone knows how to go about doing that. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into Canva and let's just kind of show you guys how I actually went about creating my own brand. So first things first for you guys, um, if you guys wanna go ahead and cop this template, it's actually down in the description below. You guys can go ahead, grab the template link and then save and download it for your own thing. So what you're gonna get is essentially these two sort of squares. This will not be filled in. Uh, it'll have sort of the font, but everything else in between will not be there because you got to fill it out yourself and just build what works for you. So first things first, um, I added a mood board section and personally, I didn't use it because I kind of already had a really good idea of what I really liked and what I was trying to accomplish with my new style. So I ended up just doing like straight up, just going for it over here. But step number one for you guys, is just going ahead, creating a mood board of inspiration that you like. So think of competitors, inspirational sorts of content, anyone that you really look up to content wise, like really just reverse engineer why you look up to them, why you think their content's super clean, and then kind of just take those little bits and pieces and sort of mash it all together in your own unique style. Because you like what you like, and that is a clear indicator of like, okay, this is what I like, so let's go ahead and make it my own style, if that makes sense. First things first, create your mood board. Now going over into the actual like, creation of the branding which this is a very simple branding aspect of short form content but i wanted to keep this super clean and concise for me and my content so that way i knew exactly what and how i was going to execute i have it split up into b-roll scenes and a-roll scenes so we have the a-roll which is the talking head and we have the b-roll which is sort of just the cutaway shots essentially the scenes that differentiate from the a-roll if that makes sense so something that's either going to add to the edit um, add emphasis to what you're saying, etc. So let's go ahead and start with like our A-roll scenes. I went ahead and just labeled one as like basic sort of captions, like what is gonna be on screen the majority of the time and looks good. For me, I went ahead and just did like this sort of placement. Some people, if you want, you can go ahead and do centered placement, um, but just really play with it and choose what font you want to go here. For me, I chose Helvetica font because honestly, it's just super clean and it's a really popular font in the scene. So I figured like, yo, let's go ahead, rip this, it looks really good. And then I call the second sort of A-roll scene, a, the special A, so like A, like a referencing back to A-roll and stacking and word stacking, if that makes sense. So I just wrote word stack. And I really like the way that these two fonts pair together. The first font is over here, Akira. And then also the second font is right here, which by the way, if you guys wanna go ahead and cop my actual grunge Premiere Pro editing pack, it's gonna have all these fonts included. It's gonna have all of the editing style, cutaway scenes already edited for you. So all you have to do is tweak them to your liking. It takes me 15 minutes to edit the reels, pretty universal. So I believe every single creator should be doing this in the workflow. We have the uh, two scenes. Um, you guys could even go crazy with this and just kind of duplicate and like, add a like you know special effect so you just go ahead and duplicate this and be like um special a and then maybe do like um a uh, face track effect so you can literally add effects as well it's like kind of like add to your branding and you could like somehow show that in this sort of thing i don't know if you could like just draw on it and be like track here you know what i mean like track etc and then be like movement you know yeah, something like that. I don't know. Just get like uh, get a little creative with it, but most importantly, keep it clear and concise on like what you want for the effect. So that way, if you or your editor is looking at it and be like, okay, I know what he means. You know what I mean? That's just pretty simple stuff. So yeah, go ahead and feel free. Add whatever you like to the A scenes. You could even have you could have you could have one. You could have two. You could even have three. You'd have even five different sort of effects that you add to the A roll. Honestly, the more the merrier because then you could just go ahead reference this sheet and be like, oh, okay, that's a great idea. I'm just gonna rip it in my next reel. And on top of that, you know that it fits your branding. Let's go over to the elements. And as you guys can see, and I've probably already read through as the font, the overlays and the graphics slash effects. 
And honestly, in my opinion, that's really the core principles that short form content really comes down to in the editing side. Yes, there's lighting, et cetera, getting it right in camera, but we're not worried about that in this video. Maybe you could even add in this category of elements, sound effects as well, um, background music, like what tone are you trying to set? What sound effects are recurring in your brand? For me, it's actually a riser, so that'd be a good thing to add here. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the same exact thing for the A roll. Just go ahead, same exact thing for B roll. So if this stuff is different, then go ahead and update this as well. But let's go ahead and like break down the B-roll. So for me, I kind of have like three different forms of B-roll screens. So there's the um, clean font blur plus paper overlay. So literally it just is kind of an offshoot of A-roll, but it's just different enough to be a little different. Um, we also have the cinematic B-roll behind with the caption. So this one's kind of like, if I'm saying something important, kind of similar to Dan Coe on his YouTube videos. Um, how he has like a lot of text like just on screen of what he's saying kind of makes it more um it kind of draws your attention more to what he's saying and that's kind of what i wanted for this scene and then also there is another one it's kind of an offshoot of this but it's the font combo stack with the b-roll and then honestly add in some animations and just making it look unique so that is genuinely like how i built my own sort of branding on Instagram and I just kept it simple like people think you got to go crazy you got to have like all of these SOPs or you got to have like all of this stuff in order to make like a dope unique brand when really it just comes down to what fonts are you using I'm using three different fonts what overlays am I using I'm using two different overlays what graphics and effects like I'm doing two effects and then like a couple sound effects like in total like if you can compile like 10 elements to create your brand for your video that's all you need to do you could even do it way less than that anyways guys like this is literally the first of these sorts of types of videos please let me know down below if this was helpful for you and your short form content journey i plan on doing more videos about instagram and how you can elevate your instagram account so that way you can get more eyes and then eventually if you monetize your instagram you can get more buys and be a full-time creator just like me so anyways guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one